Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to talk about a road that was up in Markham Gulch. So, stay tuned. Markham Road. This video is about the so-called Markham Road. The pictures I have shows a man walking up Markham Gulch, pointing out, now it was either where the road once was, or that there was no road and just a trail. The photos are from the Larry Sachs collection found at utahrails.net. The date on the photos is October 15, 1926. Now this is important because at this time, the mine was expanding. Utah Copper was constantly looking for more dumping grounds for their waste rock. In 1924, Utah Apex Mining granted surface rights north side of Carfort Canyon for dumping. Now Utah Copper could work their way down the canyon. This photo was taken around 1926. Shows the mine dumps approaching that Markham Gulch. Then we have some pictures taken June 6, 1926 of that Markham Gulch. Now look how far up the gulch you can see. Also Markham Gulch was the home of that large Markham Bridge completed June 1911. It was 220 feet tall and 640 feet long. What a magnificent sight this was to see. Well, back to our photos. I think these pictures were taken because of some kind of dispute about a right-of-way regarding a road running up Markham Gulch. Here's a March 31st, 1932 letter talking about that right-of-way. The letterhead is from Utah Copper Company to Williams and Evans in the Continental Bank Building. Maybe it was a law firm in that building. The letter states that neither is now nor has been a road up that canyon to the mining properties of Mr. Carlson and Mr. Williams. Now it's signed by D.D. Moffat, Vice President and General Manager of Utah Copper. Whatever the dispute was, it must have been settled because shortly after 1926, Markham Gulch will be filled in with waste rock. Here's an early panoramic view of Markham Gulch. Now it's almost filled in, then a close-up of that fill. The photos taken back in October 1926 starts looking down the canyon to that Markham Bridge. Note Bingham High School, bottom of the canyon, right. And above it is the Utah Power and Light substation. The next shot, taken up the gulch a bit, you can just barely see an ore train entering the tunnel just after crossing the Markham Bridge. That's center right. Now up a ways, the man is holding a stick. Markham Bridge is in the far background. This one is looking up the canyon. His arms are out, showing the width of the trail. Or the road, I guess. Then one more pointed out that trail or road. Then up the canyon or notch. I'm so glad we have these pictures. It tells a little story. It's not big or flashy. Maybe not even that interesting. But it's still part of Bingham's history. And something we would have lost if it not had been for a few people who saved this. So that's the Markham Road up Bingham Canyon.